Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where damn fine guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle, how you doing? I'm great. Let's I'm so happy to be here. Oh, good. You ready to see what's on? Let's do it. All right. I feel the universe <laughs> yep. functioning perfectly. But you know who that is. I sure do, Val. Yeah. <laughs> and me wearing some crazy Ray-Ban glasses, which I think I still have, actually. Really? Yeah, I saved those from the set. Nice. I know, it was very cool. So in this scene, I had my dark glasses on. Frank Whaley is standing there. We're all kind of having these experiences, and he talks about, my father, my father, he never loved me, or something like this, right? He does this whole thing. And I'm sitting across from him like this in the circle, and I'm looking at him, and I'm biting the inside of my cheek not, not to laugh so hard, the tears are coming out because I'm actually laughing, but, uh, but I don't want him to know that. Uh, and, and fortunately I had the glasses on so I could hide behind those. That was my subtext in that scene. Music biopics are pretty standard now, but back then it was a bit of a risk. What made you it decide that you wanted to be a part of that and that, that was a risk worth taking for you? Uh, well, it was a, an amazing story about the band, particularly about Jim actually. And I get to work with Oliver, which was which was really a hoot. Um, he was crazy. And uh, but but, but you I can't just zip but it, past that. No, but in a love, I love I love him, you know. But he's crazy.